The second strategy that I chose to research was the Give Me Five strategy. In order for the Give Me Five strategy to be implemented, students of all grade levels can use this type of queuing system. It targets all of the students' five senses, and students know that when they hear the Give Me Five slogan, that their eyes are to be looking at the teacher or student, per se, and their ears should be listening, hands are free, and their bodies are still of any type of movement or objects, and their mouths need to be closed so that they can listen to any type of direction or instructions. An example of this would be during possible center time, and the class needs just maybe a just friendly reminder that the noise level is not appropriate and it's too loud for inside buildings. In order for this implement implementation to occur, Teachers have resources that could be provided to them on the internet. Pinterest would provide Give Me Five posters, which could be located and displayed freely throughout the classroom or maybe on the outside of the classroom on the door so that students constantly see that as they are entering and exiting the classroom. Just as a reminder of the expectations that are to come from them. As far as prior student knowledge, I don't feel that students need any type of extra or prior knowledge for the strategy for it just to be implemented properly and correctly. I think that by teacher examples of each part of the Give Me Five strategy, this would be sufficient in it being implemented properly and correctly. Um, I think that it would require multiple practices where the teacher models, students echo the modeling, then they are free to do it on their own. And once the teacher feels that they are consistent and have a good grasp at what's expected, then they could be set free to show this on their own throughout the day whenever classroom management possibly needs to be taken over and brought back. Um, the source was found in the Special Education and Contemporary Society book.